Good morning from a snowy rural town in the mountains of Utah. I'm currently in an RV park, which is technically closed for the winter season. However, they were kind enough to allow me to take a site here. I found that a lot of places during the winter season in some of these rural towns, hotels and whatnot will go ahead and open up their facilities to you if you give them a call. So I was lucky enough and got myself a site here. It has been bitterly cold in this area uh, over this past week or so. Temps dropped down to zero Fahrenheit with a feels like temperature of minus 10. So it's definitely winter here. You might be asking why in the heck I would wanna be here in the dead of winter. Most nomads are off someplace warm down in Mexico, Arizona. I do have a reason for that, which I'll explain in a little bit. However, I need to get some breakfast going. I think I would like some French toast this morning. My stomach's grumbling. <laughs> Dip my bread in the egg. That's one. Two. I can smell that cinnamon. It smells really good. Real maple syrup. So why in the heck would I want to spend winter someplace where it's actually winter? Why would I subject myself to freezing, below freezing, bitterly cold temperatures, snow, icy roads, and all of the above? The simple answer is because I never have. I was born and raised in Southern California near the ocean. We did not have four seasons there and I've never experienced a real winter. I would drive up to the Eastern Sierra in the wintertime occasionally, um, actually quite often, I shouldn't even say occasionally. I would go up kind of as a weekend warrior and just go up for 24 hours, but I always made sure that it was in a clear weather window. The first time that I ever experienced snow falling was in the local San Bernardino Mountains. Those are the nearest mountains to the Orange County area where I grew up that have snow. They have a couple of ski resorts up there and I went up I think New Year's Eve of 2015 and that's the first time I was in the mountains while the snow was actually falling. I've always kind of romanticized sitting in a little cabin watching the snowfall or in this case sitting in my little trailer watching the snow fall out my windows and this has been an awesome experience. I can't say that if I were to live in this every winter year in and year out that I would have the same appreciation for it because I'm sure most folks that do that uh, are over it pretty quickly uh, but I am savoring every single moment of it. I like to challenge myself. Uh, I like to get out of my comfort zone. I guess that's part of being kind of an outdoors person where, you know, I enjoy backpacking. I enjoy getting into the backcountry, living this lifestyle as a nomad and traveling from one place to the next is definitely pushing my limits of comfort at times. And that is kind of what this is as well. Like setting up my truck as a truck camping setup and getting out in the winter and being kind of right in there in the elements. It's been very exciting and exhilarating for me. Not to mention the fact that I've had a lot of places virtually to myself here during the winter. And I know there's a good reason for that. You have to have kind of a hearty soul to get out here and to want to 
uh, put yourself in this type of elements with freezing, below freezing temperatures. Having the right gear is crucial to make sure that you're as comfortable as possible in this type of weather, which I do, so I'm thankful for that. Now, currently at this RV park, I am plugged in. I am still winterized. This trailer is still winterized, meaning I don't have uh, water in my freshwater tanks. I'm not using my black tanks. So I have my toilet set up pretty similar to how I have it set up in the truck camping setup, just some cedar wood chips in a plastic trash bag. And I'm utilizing that as my toilet. And then I have to carry water for water, but I can plug in, I can have my heater, an electric heater going to keep me warm. And uh, that is, kind of how I'll have to travel in, during the winter. I don't want to have my pipes freezing. I don't want to damage my pipes. So you have to make some sacrifices in order to travel in the winter. <laughs> Anyhow, I know that some of you may still think I'm nuts and uh, that might not make sense to some of you, but let me know in the comments. Do you like traveling during winter? Do you like being in the snow? Let me know. Do you hate it? <laughs> Go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on winter travel, winter camping. I decided to take a little drive to explore around camp and I'm glad I did because it was gorgeous. This is why I wanted to experience winter. Everywhere I look is a postcard. Since I'm hunkered down inside today, I figured it's a perfect day to get some chores done. This place is pretty dusty. The floors need to be cleaned. It probably looks clean to you on the surface, but it really does need to be cleaned. And uh, yeah, I think it's a perfect time to do it. never know what you're going to get when you tune in with me each week. I could be backpacking in the backcountry. I could be camping in my truck camping setup. I might be camping in the travel trailer, spending a night at an Airbnb. Variety is the spice of life and it keeps things interesting for me. So I definitely like changing it up. getting the kettle going again. It's hot cocoa time. If you're a viewer of the channel, you know I'm a fan. It's perfect weather for it too. I've been rereading this book called The Last Season by Eric Blem. It's based on a true story and takes place in the High Sierra, the Eastern Sierra, which is near and dear to my heart. It's an excellent book. I highly recommend it. I suggest you look it up <laughs> if you haven't read it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good one. Normally I like to kick back in my 
dinette area and have that in lounge mode. However, I just recently got a new mattress and it's super, super comfy. And I can still see out my dinette window, so it's really the best of both worlds. What the heck, I might as well get a little work done too while I'm at it. Tonight for dinner, I'm making a cheesy sausage pasta and it is going to consist of these ingredients. Should be pretty quick, pretty easy. First thing I'm gonna do is shred a cup of Monterey Jack cheese. Next, I will dice this onion. Now I'm going to add a little cooking oil and then the sausage to a skillet or to a pot. It says a large skillet, but I don't really have a large skillet. So I'm going to use a pot just so I don't have any overflow. And I'll throw the sausage in there. What I'm doing right now is just browning the sausage. Okay, my sausage is nice and brown, so I'm going to add my onions. Now I just wanna saute the sausage with the onions until the onions are soft and clear. Now I'm going to be adding some Rotel, diced tomatoes and green chilies, juices and all. And one and a half cups of chicken stock. To this, I'm going to add eight ounces of egg noodles. About half of this package is 16 ounces. It's already looking and smelling good. So now I'm going to cover this and let it simmer. While I'm waiting for that to cook up, I'm going to put away some laundry. Right, now I'm going to add some spinach leaves and get that all stirred in until they wilt. Now that the spinach has wilted, I'm topping it with the jack cheese. I've evenly distributed the cheese on the top. I'm going to lower the heat and let it melt, stir it so it's all smooth and creamy and it'll be ready to eat. finished product. I am back exactly where you found me this morning in bed. <laughs> I am going to find a good movie to watch tonight and just chill out and probably get to bed pretty early. I hope you enjoyed just hanging out with me today. It was a beautiful day, honestly, with the snow falling outside. It was just a quiet, peaceful day, and I need those occasionally to rest and recharge and get ready for the next adventure. I think everybody needs those. It's uh, the reality of living on the road. Some days are really exciting and full of adventure, and some days are just quiet and spent at home. I thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciated having you come along. I wish you could have tasted that pasta. It was really good. And I will see you all on the next adventure. See you soon. Bye-bye. All my mind and my sea.